Hey guys, Failco here, and this is Failure Incorporated. We're a podcast full of nerds that talk about games. Our second episode, we're talking once again about the cult classic Gigantic, this time about the competitive scene and the community and all the issues the game has. Hope you enjoy, and remember, if you did, follow us on Spotify. This is Failure Incorporated, and we're here to talk about Gigantic. Once again, let's go. Hooray. I'm, yay, I'm Failco Punch, and we have Wolfie here. Hello. And do the rest of you guys want to introduce yourself? We'll start with North. Uh, hi, I'm North, and I just make Gigantic videos in my free time. <laughs> nice, All nice. Right. Yeah, what's up? Uh, I'm Medic. I've been around the community since, I don't know, like 2021. Uh, been part of the comp scene and am now running some competitive events myself uh, with the re-release. It's really cool. Honestly, uh, the community is like why Gigantic has come back in the first place. Let's just acknowledge that. 100%. And the fact that, yeah, and the fact that there's ranked at all, like, it's great. But it's still the community's job to keep it going, really. Yeah. It's great in theory. <laughs> in theory. Let's put it like that. <laughs> oh, man. So, okay. So there are probably some people who don't actually know what the GDL is. Do you want to introduce what that is? Yeah. Um, it's sort of this semi-competitive league I started sort of mirroring these other casual summer leagues you'd find maybe for like sports or something like at a rec center i kind of wanted to create a similar vibe but with gigantic and i thought that sort of a weekly format fit the game a lot better than a extended tournament format so i ended up putting up a draft league which works uh you have certain players act as captains and then you basically do a draft of all the other players in the pool to form the teams those teams will play each other uh you know for rankings and then Eventually, you take the top-ranked teams and you have your playoffs. That's the long and short of it. That's... I really love that. I want to know. Great. I want to know just because I'm curious. There's actually been a lot of activity on that Discord server that you made. Were you expecting this much uh, response? This much activity there? Yeah, I mean, when I put out the original poll, like as an interest thing in the competitive server, I got, you know, maybe 20, 30 people telling me that they wanted to play. So I figured, ah, you know, we'll probably have something kind of small going on, maybe like four teams, nothing, nothing too crazy. So I was a little, uh, you know, shocked when we got so many people interested in playing, but I'm also really happy with the turnout. You know, I think it's great that we can actually have events with this many players. Like the fact that we have, a, you know, a 64 player league in a game with, 90 concurrent players or something i'm not gonna pull up steam <laughs> steam charts right now but <laughs> yeah. i think that's still really awesome that we can get people coming together to play the game like this oh wow yeah it's amazing honestly like um a draft league so okay so like when you started it and you know because like gigantic doesn't really have any built-in drafting like how did you actually go about doing that like do you have like a whole like bunch of paperwork that is how you draft people yeah uh, a lot of spreadsheets uh you know i don't yeah <laughs> i got experience with spreadsheets so oh, that's good. <laughs> you know not not too big of a hassle but yeah i mean i have still sitting around just on my computer like this big old spreadsheet with everyone's like form data uh i tried to be a little bit more organized about it with some of the data collection um because I think a lot of this stuff matters a lot more than you would think. Like normally when you're setting up a tournament, it's not that important that you check stuff like availability or, you know, people's time zone. But when you're doing something that's like on a weekly format, it suddenly becomes a lot more important to actually be tracking all of that as well. So that's something that we need to be putting in a lot of effort in to keep working on and keep up with everyone. That's really good. Actually, like on that point, you've made me wonder, like, what is the attendance like? Like, are people generally good about, like, showing up for these things? So we've had some scheduling mishaps here and there. It hasn't been perfect, um, especially in the early weeks. I didn't think, uh, you know, not just me, but a lot of people didn't realize that the first sort of weekend this was supposed to happen was also, like, Father's Day weekend, which caused a few issues. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so we definitely had a few kind of last-minute reschedules based on that where people were like, oh, shit, it's Father's Day weekend. <laughs> <laughs> I, did, I totally forgot. Um, but after that, I think I've been pretty like pleasantly surprised with 
you know, how well this has been running, especially because this isn't the first time we tried something like this. In 2022, um, the people over in Wild West, which is one of the competitive servers uh, for Core, were running a draft league with four teams and zero matches got played. So, oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm just very happy to, you know, say like a majority of the matches, like teams were able to figure out times and have players show up and play the match. So, it's really I've impressive. Been, like, it, I mean, obviously it hasn't been 100%, but I'm still very happy with how things have been going so far. It's a vast improvement for sure, by the way that it sounds. Um, I want to, I want to ask as well, do you, do you do like a ton of the work yourself or are there a bunch of people behind the scenes that uh, some of us don't see? Like, do you want to give any shout outs to anyone that has really stepped up and helped in this whole thing? Yeah, I mean, for, for starters, shout out to all the captains who have been dealing with a lot of the scheduling. So that would be Mist of Death, Pete, uh, Pete the Fish, I Need Original Name, Cypress, uh, Classy Dave, Feynor, and the Furious D, uh, who have all put in a lot of effort on their own part, getting schedules together and communicating with me and the other captains for scheduling games every week. That has been a massive part. Like, we couldn't, you know, it's not a league without games, so just being part of the scheduling process really matters. And, of course, also taking the time to do drafts really matters. Um, there's also people like anyone who's casted for us or streamed for us, massive help just getting uh, getting recordings and getting exposure is really important as well so obviously I mean myself, Getster Northstar, Furious D, Turtle Duck Man and then even you know like Baja, like everyone who streamed POV so Purple Buns Baja Blast, uh, you know Ghost Knight uh, and Wolfie <laughs> Sometimes. Have you casted yet? I, I have not. I, think I've I have not casted any GTL games yet. I've unfortunately been very busy the past like month, so there's been no time. But I, I really do want to participate and do something for with you guys. Absolutely. Fine. Playoffs is coming up. All I'm saying, try to get some of those some of those playoff slots. I gotta warm up again. It's uh, been should, a be, should be good games. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we got we have obviously it's still a ton more people I haven't mentioned who have streamed uh, off the top of my head. We've also had streams coming in from Mischievous. We've had streams from Turtle Duck Man. I think I've already mentioned. Uh, let me just. I'm looking at. I'm looking at like this. Now, now I'm turning back on my own spreadsheet. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> to uh, yeah, double check. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, even if I didn't say your name, like if you've streamed or casted or you know helped schedule, like it's been a big help. Um, obviously not something I can do alone, and so I'm really grateful for all the people who have stepped in and put their own time into making this work. Since you it's brought really up, amazing. Since you brought up Northstar, I want to ask Northstar now. Um, How has it been like for you being part of these games? I know that we discussed this in our in our other uh, <laughs> the other podcast style thing that we did recently. Uh, but yeah, just kind of being both a player and a caster in that format, like how has it been? I mean, as Maddox said, like any way to get the community together is like I'm really grateful for. It's the only downside to the league, and it's completely out of anyone in the league's control. It's the custom games, um, just being finicky. But apart from that, the games have been fun, and it's great that like even people who aren't necessarily in the league are still showing interest in it and watching, and people e are even like supporting their favorite teams, which I like. It kind of brings everyone together in that way. Wonderful. Community coming together as always. <laughs> gigantic strong hashtag. Um, <laughs> okay, so before, like, I definitely want to talk about custom games, but I feel like that's that's after this topic. <laughs> Let's talk about. I want to ask you guys how the teams were formed. Like, who started the movement of this? Because it's been a while since we've really seen teams. You know, in general, do you think it was started like when we had that first community kind of like teach a noob? kind of like event like did that snowball it or was it in progress before that i think if i had to give a timeline of when this idea started to form it was kind of okay so it was like sort of like two things i think the first time i had this idea um was when i saw the <laughs> announcement that heaven was like gig heaven was taking down their queue when the game launched mm -hmm. and my first gut reaction is like we're gonna want that back at some day like there will be a day where we were like please open that queue back up um, and I felt that there was kind of this lacking space for sort of these semi-organized games where you're playing with the same people and getting that sense of community because I knew that was something that you're not going to get as easily when you're playing in like a live release. So that was kind of like the first time I was thinking, 
you know, hey, there might be a space, like, a need for this in the community. And then the second, I think, thing that really inspired me to go do this was my own experience as a player in Wizards Trials 1. Um, I didn't play in Community mm -hmm. Clash, but I felt that the format for Wizards Trials uh, kind of was not great, in all honesty, as a player. Um, you know, I tell people, I sat at my desk for six hours to play 20 minutes of Gigantic, which is not a good ratio. Right. Um, obviously, some of that due to customs games, that's not like within the control. But I also, I feel like with how long these games are, Gigantic isn't really a game for most people that you can run a turn, like you can't run these sort of weekend tournaments for because it just takes too long. And most people don't have, you know, sort of these like 12 straight hours to give away on a weekend to play this game. Right, um, yeah. Especially with the current so, state, as you said. Oh yeah, absolutely. So that was kind of, so those two kind of things inspired me to sort of try to push for this more sort of weekly format um, that, I think helps bring out the best of this game while sort of blunting the worst of customs still are inconsistent and games can still run really long. Yeah. So speaking of custom games, um, <laughs> what would you say are some of the, the things going on now with customs that are really like standing out to you as being the worst, <laughs> especially for a tournament style like event? 100% the inconsistency. Uh, we talk a lot about how bad peer-to-peer -peer is for connection, but there are games that use peer-to-peer, -peer and it and it's okay. Mm. I mean, Splatoon 3 only uses peer-to-peer -peer connection, as far as I know, and that shit won multiplayer game of the year in 2023. Deep Rock also only uses peer-to-peer, -peer, and I don't nobody complains about it because it's not a problem there. I think the two things that make it a problem here is, number one, it's just not consistent. Yeah. You know, if you look at the first time I was casting, I was celebrating. I was like, yes, we got a game because it was only the second try. I think it is absurd that is in you know, 2024 we are celebrating when connecting to a server works only on the second try. <laughs> like, yeah. That, that is, oh, if, sad, that is quite a true. If customs worked on the first try, like every time, I think a lot less people would be mad about the ping and would be willing to say that's the price you pay for custom like obviously it's not mm -hmm. going to be as good as official servers but you know it's fast it's consistent it's easy to do it's not a problem for the competitive scene it's not a problem for pickup games right right yeah um, definitely but obviously now that i mentioned it right having it be peer-to-peer -peer and having the ping be really bad for people is a problem oh um, especially God. because it feels like the networking i mean for, for starters, right, Gigantic's networking, uh, obviously known for being a little poor. It's perfect. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, obviously, there's never been, I mean, okay, what am I saying? I mean, no, I, no one has had any issues. But <laughs> um, when you have a game with networking that feels really bad to play on at high ping, and all customs are on high ping, then it starts to really impact the experience. Um, especially because it's... There's two things that I think really stand out. First is that you have people who really shouldn't have poor connections to the host are still reporting inconsistent connections. And it's the fact that as a community on multiple builds across multiple years, we were able to get consistently better performance hosting ourselves yeah. than the current customs implementation. I think is what's frustrating to most people. That absolutely. is absolutely insane. It's insane to think that the game was better earlier in terms of like, connections i think if you gave people who played in heaven the choice to queue only into psycho server instead of the official servers even if the queue times were like twice or three times as long 80 percent of people would still just say please queue me only into psycho server just because it's so much more stable oh man and the ping is so much better yeah and the crazy thing is too <laughs> like we were testing like we have tested hosting um you know on these cracked builds that got leaked and we were getting better results doing that as well than what is currently in the game, which I think is crazy. Wow. That is that is pretty wild to uh, think about that, especially in 2024 where that's just kind of like not acceptable. Uh. Yeah. I definitely think this is one of the places where the game is showing its age. And this was kind of a chance for the you know remake to sort of fix those issues. And it didn't take that chance. And that's kind of, I think, to a lot of people in the community, really disappointing. 
Yeah. Oh yeah. Especially, Definitely. but if any of the. Oh, go ahead. I, I was just gonna say, especially because it was brought in with the re-release as like a key pivotal feature that was just like, yes, this is the amazing thing that we've brought to you, spectator and and yeah. and exactly. custom games. It's right. like. But most of it's not working most of the time. And, yeah, and, it's just a, you see how many games people are casting, and it's just, I'm tuning into someone else's Twitch stream because we don't want to use Spectator, right? 100%. And it's just like being, especially as someone like me being on that side of the table where I've had to quite literally stall for half an hour or longer because we can't get people oh. connected. It's just, it's it's so insanely frustrating, and I have to... I have to play it off like I'm not like upset and you know yeah. I have to I have to maintain <laughs> this, this composure you know it's just yeah, like in yeah. in in on the inside I'm screaming and it's it's yeah. horrible <laughs> I think I think if anybody from like the development team is watching like top priority should be to just make it consistent because I think if that can get fixed people will be more willing to be patient waiting for dedicated custom servers but if as long as customs just works on the first try every time, right? That's all we're asking for. Like a normal game, yeah. Should it's like um, or not even not even okay. Every time is too hard. Like nineteen times out of twenty, ninety five percent. That's a pat. That's like a good grade by the American standards. Okay, that's all we're asking for. <laughs> Passing not even, grade. <laughs> just just an A grade peer to peer experience. Because I actually think peer to peer is not as sort of a weird decision as people think it is. I actually think it's a really smart way to future-proof the game, and I really appreciate that that's a part of the game, and we're not going to have to go back and crack the build that we're playing on to get peer-to-peer -peer working in the future. I think that's cool. Nice. That being said, it doesn't work every time, <laughs> and the ping is yeah. way higher for no reason. <laughs> yeah, so that's a really cool, like, like, view of it, to hear, like, the future-proofing and everything. So, like, okay, let's say the devs listen to this, and they hear us talking shit about them. Yeah, we're talking to you, devs. Okay. All right? Um, so, like, what what kind of things would you like to see in the future for custom games? Like, oh, thank God, bro. I had a whole speech plan oh. for this. Okay. <laughs> okay, so... He's going in. Let's... He's ready. Let's, let's roadmap... Uh, let's just roadmap customs for a second. Take a step back. Number one, um, you should stop working on, like, ranked until you can just get the game. This is not even related to customs. This is just overall. Like, stop working on ranked until the game fully works from the ground up, okay? The year is 2024. There are thousands of games that you are competing with for players' time and attention. Nobody is going to spend the time and attention it needs if they have to fight your game to play it. Preach. Okay? Preach. <laughs> and more upcoming. That means... <laughs> Fixing, that means fixing solo queue, okay? That means fixing maps, okay? That means when we're pushing updates, we're not breaking more things than we fix. Like, start there, bare minimum. But off, that's kind of off track. Um, it's not no, that's off track. It's that's not. not. <laughs> 100% not. <laughs> I, I wish it was I wish it was off track. I wish it was crazy, but <sighs> I know. this is just the world we live in. Um, for customs specifically, like I said, the first step has to be consistency. Um, it doesn't matter, right? A system can be great, but if it only works half the time and you have to fully reset your client the other half the time where it doesn't work, players are not going to use it. It feels like I'm literally having to fight the game to play it. That is not a good sign. That's not what good UX feels like. Oh, if no. you can just, even just something as simple as graceful <laughs> failure, right? If I have issues with custom matches, why am I having to reset my client every time to fix future bugs? Why am I having to, like, why are the devs telling us to reset Steam? fully to fix bugs right we should be able to at least at the very least right if something happens right whatever connections aren't perfect i'll be the first to accept that internet protocol is hard everyone knows that right oh yeah graceful failure would at least help take a lot of the you know ease off the you take a lot of the burden off of the players and help them actually play the game that they enjoy playing right in the sort of the same vein that should be the main goal until that gets fixed, nothing else really matters, right? Custom servers are nice, but it doesn't matter if they still only work half of the time. Same with anything like ranked, right? All those features don't matter if they aren't consistent. So I really think the devs need to take a step back and focus on making a game that is just consistently playable. Oh yeah. If that makes sense. Yeah. Oh yeah. Definitely. I just wonder um, I think, the timeline here, you know? It just feels like it's... It, 
luckily they have the gigantic community. The, a, a rabid community yeah. that will probably okay. continue to play gigantic no matter what. But I, I also have I also have a rant about this. Oh my um, god. <laughs> secondary rant. I think it is crazy the amount of the resource that the resource that this community has <laughs> that the devs do not utilize enough, I think is insane. We have players for putting out entire QA bug investigation reports with lists of bugs, reprodu- like reproduction states, and f- like possible fixes for free, okay? We have people, you know, you want to talk about, oh, this game is on an outdated engine and only runs at 60 FPS, and that really sucks. We have two, not one, two people who are both porting this game to a more modern engine for free. You should talk to them. We have the people who got their homebrew servers working better than the official servers. You should talk to them about networking, right? We have all these people who are doing all this for free, okay? We have people who are literally decompiling machine code to mod the game and making it work. You should talk to them, okay? And I think it's crazy that I talk to these people and they're like, yeah, I don't feel like we're being heard. Like, you have people who have spent years of putting in free work into your game, making it better, and you do not want to use them as resources? I think that is crazy. You know what the funny thing is? I just want to kind of bring up. <laughs> Even back in the day, we had people like that. And Felco knows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there, yeah. there were people doing that all the time, especially in core. Yeah. It's it, it's kind of wild that you put it in perspective like that because even even now with how dedicated this community is to this game despite the hardships of everything involved with it right now, it just kind of shows the perseverance of what we want to, to just work. I mean, we just want a game that we can play without fighting. Exactly. Like that's all that's all we're asking for is like why am I like every time I talk to people who stop playing the game as well who are like longtime players like you know, thousands of hours and just like, I can't do this anymore. Yeah. And one of the, the most common thing is like, why am I sitting for 40 minutes in queue to me get a game with a lever or get a game on a European server or just get a game that's not good? Like, I feel like I have right. to fight through the game. I have to fight through 60 minutes of not enjoying the game to enjoy the game for 10 minutes. And that's not a good sign. That's not. I know. I know. I'm, I'm guilty of that. I, yeah. you know, I think all of us kind of are, I mean, there are functioning games out there. That's, that's the problem, right? I mean, I'm playing open alphas and open betas that are more functioning than gigabytes. <laughs> like, yeah. It is not looking good. And this is one of those things, like, you know, we keep <laughs> on what? talking. It's 2024. This is another one of those things where it feels like, did we not learn any lessons? Like, come, you know, if you've, you know, if you've ever coded, right, good good, good coders code, smart coders steal, or whatever the, right. whatever the thing yeah, is. Yeah, like, why, <laughs> why remake the wheel, basically? Yeah, exactly. Like, Steal from the best. Stop reinventing the wheel. The amount of things in this game that feel like the devs are just trying to, like, work this out for the first time when, you know, tens, hundreds of other games have already figured out the exact same thing, I think is crazy. Like, it is 2024. There are, you know, a billion ranked shooters out there. I've unleashed him. Um, Yeah, you have. There are are billions of ranked hero shooters out there. It's and yet, true. why are we still the one the one team that are like, I don't know, maybe five stacks are okay. Like, we have learned this lesson. Every game, it feels like, you know, you look at League, right? You look at, you know, anything like Overwatch, right? These are games that are successful that have already figured out how to do this properly. Why are we not just taking those ideas and, start, and using those as a starting point and not having to go through a patch cycle just to get to ground zero? Yeah, I mean, this is true. And I'm sure there's a lot more we can rant about this. We could rant about this the entire time, but I, I could, I, I could. I let's <laughs> let's readjust back to things that we are doing actively in the community. Back to the GDL. I want to hear, yeah. kind of like, first off, I want to hear about the returning and the new players to the gigantic comp scene. Tell me about those players and like the teams that you find have been like really stepping up and looking good. Yeah, uh, for sure. So a lot of the returning players ended up kind of, a, l- a good majority of them ended up falling into sort of these captains' roles, um, mostly having that experience and leading their teams. But there definitely been a lot of teams that I, do- I think I kind of underrated coming in because I didn't recognize a lot of the people playing on them. And then they sort of stepped up and showed me like, okay, actually, no, you guys are pretty legit. Um, I was kind of impressed. I think a lot of people on Cypress's team, like I didn't recognize coming in, uh, have really impressed me. 
Oh, nice. When I saw his draft, I, I low-key thought he was trolling for a little bit, but oh, really? he made some really smart picks. Oh. He made some really smart picks, and he's making everyone look stupid right now. So he and Classy, like their two teams, are playing each other for the top spot uh, this weekend. Oh, that's awesome. All right, all right. It should be a fun watch. Predictions, yeah. predictions, let's hear it. Um, For this week or just, like, overall? Uh, <laughs> this week and then overall. Let's hear both. Um, Okay, matches this week, I think Cypress Classy, um, that's tough to call. I think both teams have been playing really well. That's playing for the top seed. I think I'm going to give it to Team Classy, uh, the Gooning Grens, I think is their name. <laughs> no way. Um, yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't really a do a lot game. of like censorship um, when it comes to like. You know, I'm kind of hands off about that because you know at the end of the day we're all just trying to have fun. No, ain't nobody getting paid out here. You know we ain't got sponsors. We ain't got sp- uh, uh, unfortunately, <laughs> yeah, that's how it is sometimes. I guess. Yeah, this 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 one's sponsored by uh, nobody. <laughs> Goon um, Energy. Real. <laughs> but I think um, just I'll be talking. I do think. I mean, I think Classy's team has just been really coordinated. I also think he played the draft really well as a captain, got a really good first and second pick that have proved to be a really strong core. I don't think they have... I, I can look at their stats. I don't even think they've dropped a wound so far oh my in, goodness. The, in the season. So they're probably looking to continue that trend of uh, dominance uh, probably into the postseason. So I think they'll be definitely a team to watch. Um, That's wild. That is I impressive. Also, I also think... Um, other matchups, so Team Furious D and so the somewhat large lads are playing Feyenoord's team, uh, <laughs> Golden Ring, for and the winner goes to playoffs. I think I'm giving that to Golden Ring, um, oh. who I think I've definitely among the teams or one of the teams that definitely practices the most. So I have to give them credit where it's due. Like they're definitely putting in the work uh, to get better and grind it out. Um, and I also think Feyenoord is a really good captain, really good IGL. Uh, you know, so I trust him to sort of take take charge. They did lose their week one game, but they ended up losing to Team Cypress, who's a top top two team right now. And also, Feynor wasn't there, so I don't count it personally. Uh, okay, cool. Wow, that's a, that's a really cool outlook. It's awesome. I mean, you're you're watching these teams like grow and make plays and everything. It must be really exciting to yeah to see. I'm really happy with how things turned out. There's there's some other games. Uh, I guess my quick rundown. I actually don't have a good prediction for Dave versus Mist of Death. I think it's kind of a toss-up between those two teams, so it should be a fun watch. And that's also playing for a playoff slot, so a lot, of, lot on the line for those teams. That's really exciting. Yeah. Between Pete's team and then Original's team. Um, that one's still kind of up in the air as well for me. I don't have a strong, like, I feel strongly about that uh, one way or the other. So, okay. definitely going to be watching with interest this weekend. Definitely going to be watching. Very exciting. So, so North, like, do you have anything to add here? Are you w- w- get in there? Get in the the lead. I was I was doing? just about to say like North, even very quiet. So I'm just curious on your. It's opinion. just so inspiring listening to medic talk about <laughs> like this guy like lives and breathes this game. Like this guy just knows so much. Like if you need to More know anything, you? if you need to know oh, anything yeah. about Gigantic, you ask Medic. Genuinely, there there was a time. <laughs> I have Loki stopped playing for a little bit, uh, mostly just because of work and also because I don't want to sit in a forty minute queue. <laughs> yeah. In all honesty, yeah. not gonna lie. Yeah. Like my computer is not good enough to be running this game and like risk of rain or something to pass the time. So uh, I sort of have to, and that is one of the things that I kind of do miss about heaven is at least when queues were long i didn't need to have the game open to be in queue i could just have discord open which is a lot less taxing on my computer that's true um, but north hasn't answered my question yet <laughs> <laughs> what was the question North, pay attention oh my goodness yo fire this guy <laughs> get him out of here get him. north we're asking why like are you are you gonna be in the gdl league or are you like uh, on genuinely, oh, I am. I'm in it. My team is having like timing difficulties at the moment. Uh, one of our uh. main members' jobs, like they keep moving his schedule around. So every time we're like getting ready for a game, he has to like go into work. And then oh, we're all over the place. We have people on the east coast. We have people all over Europe, as well. Um, but I'm hoping um, in the next few, maybe this weekend, next weekend, whatever, we'll we'll be able to get some more games in. 
Because it is fun. It is a lot of fun. When the game works. When the game works. <laughs> when the game works. Yeah, well. If you expect it not to and it does, then you can't be disappointed, right? <laughs> no, I can still be very disappointed. Oh, You'd be so... <laughs> Always find a ways to surprise me. This game. I mean, I'm always like we joke. Like, surely it doesn't get worse than this. But you know, April 9th oh. did not. We've been wrong us. before. Oh my yeah, gosh. April 9th, not exactly. <laughs> More like under new management. I mean. <laughs> oh God. All right. Wait. Okay. So we're we're like talking like a lot of bad things, right? But like, what are some of your favorite moments from the tournament? Like, have have there been moments where you're like. You stand up on your chair and you're like, yeah, let's go. I want to hear about those. But the queue actually went through. It was a big <laughs> moment. Facts. I'll be yeah. popping up every time a game goes through. Yeah, let's go. That was a good No one. more waiting, bro. Um, yes. Oh, no. But <laughs> I think one thing that I'm really happy with how it turned out, and I think North can also speak to this, is I feel like <laughs> uh, something that actually did happen that was really positive is I think this tournament helped deal with one of the I think one of the bigger issues with the competitive gig scene, which was how sort of clickish it was becoming. Right. Um, it was really about, towards the end especially, it really became about, like, did you know the right people and were you on good terms? Like, and everyone had beef with everyone. In the <laughs> so I feel like, you know, and I, I'm going to be honest, I'm fully guilty. I'm definitely part of that. Uh, I ain't even going to lie. Um, oh, my God. You know, not my hands aren't clean here. But I do feel like, uh, especially with the draft format, you know, I'm seeing a lot of people who I think normally wouldn't be playing the game together to get together to play the game, and that's sort of what the whole project was all about at the end of the day. So I'm really happy about that. Like, that's a bigger win for me than sort of any of the <laughs> anything that actually happens, you know, in a in a tournament match, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a, that's a fair answer. I like that. Yeah. Are you North? Let's hear it. Uh, hmm. Sorry, Wolf, are you... I've only played like one or two games so far just because the way scheduling has been but there was there was one game we had we were on uh sanctums and the whole match we were just getting destroyed i don't know what it was it was the middle of the night for me so i was probably just half asleep but uh one of their one of their players decided to run into the middle of us and we get a penta and we end up winning Ooh. So Ooh. It, we oh. massive comeback. It was just we were all we all just started talking mad shit in the voice chat. I swear to God, <laughs> it was so good. Yo, the, I got I got to start producing some comp <laughs> shit. I know these comps are going crazy. Oh, I have, I have a rage funny. compilation ready. Oh, facts. <laughs> oh my God, that's crazy. Uh, definitely, um, kind of out of a of a similar vein. Uh, has anything? Has anything sort of happened, uh, this is to either of you really, um, has anything happened kind of in the games that have happened so far where it just, like something unexpected happened, like a shift in the meta or just some sort of strategy that no one has ever really seen before or has failed in the past and suddenly just randomly worked? Like, have you seen anything just super weird? Not gonna lie, I feel like most of the games have just been rolling team at me. Yeah. Like, quick. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like, I feel like, uh, there are many things that have happened in the games, but like advancing the meta is not one of them. Um, let me actually check because I do have all of the stats like for character picks and stuff. Fair enough. Um, this guy just has all the information, I mean, bro. This guy has everything stored. I know. Yeah, well, it's it's He's sort of my soul. job to track all the stats and scores. So yes, I do have all the information. <laughs> it's true. It's amazing. Um, there have definitely been some some close matches. I mean, I feel like. <laughs> we kind of knew. Uh, something that is kind of interesting to me is how often Heaven's Ward is getting played as like a second or third, like a first or second map. Oh, so wow. I thought it would be, I thought it would always going to be, you play Reef Sirens are your first two every time, and then if it's a tiebreaker, it goes to Heaven's Ward, like without a doubt. But I feel like a lot more teams are leaning into picking Heaven's Ward as a comfort map, which I think is cool. I think it is cool that we are getting new maps that don't suck to play in competitive because that was a big issue, I think, with Comp Geek for a long time. is It was, like, only Reef and Sirens, <laughs> and even then it was, like, mostly Sirens. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so the fact that, that, you know, we're getting new maps into the rotation a lot is kind of cool. That is so really that is really nice. It's better, it's better than playing How Reef many cliffs have we seen? Not... 
many to my knowledge, but also I haven't been able to global super watch all the games. <laughs> global Cliff Count. I have <laughs> I know, been right? busy. That's fair. Okay. Uh, well, who's the most picked character in these in these uh, games? It's got to be Ooh, Team I Matt. actually have to. I would have to do. Uh, my gut says it's probably Team Matt. <laughs> mm-hmm. Let me let me do a quick count. Okay, so out of eight matches, let's see. Team at Mirror. All right, and then let's see. We have a Team at Mirror. I think Team Matt is definitely a pick band character, like Team at Ban. So Team at Mirror, Team at Ban, Team at Ban, uh, Team at Picked, Team at Band, <laughs> Team at Picked, Team at Mirror. Uh, Team at band, team at picked, team at that's actually a team at mirror. Okay, yeah, so a lot of team at uh, is kind of the kind of the long and short of it. Um, we've seen a lot of Sven bands coming out, so I think the three most banned characters are Sven, Ashling, and then Margrave. Um, definitely seen a few Sven, but there's been a few games where both supports get banned, which have been kind of interesting. Um, that is interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of cool. A lot of, I mean, I mean, obviously, support's still very strong. I do plan to actually end up compiling the hero-specific data and release it at some point after oh, cool. the league ends, so keep an eye out for that. Um, that's a personal product of mine. And I think I probably will end up sending that to the devs as well so they can have some idea of what... I mean, not exact. I mean, this is obviously isn't, like, pro or anything, but, you know, in sort of higher-level play, what the <laughs> what, do, what are people gravitating towards as, oh, yeah. as picks. Mm-hmm. Definitely. Um, Just because I'm curious, uh, do you guys ever plan on having any sort of format where there are no uh, mirrors or dittos? So we were discussing, and this was something that I got a few a, little, a lot of feedback about, and I'm looking into changing, maybe even for playoffs, um, is that the draft phase takes a really long time, but doesn't actually add that much to the game. Mm-hmm. Now, do I want to play... I've thought about doing no mirrors, but I think the problem with no mirrors is that there are a few roles that are so centralizing that a team with a ban and a pick can sort of take a monopoly over the role with mirrors, and then the other team is immediately at a disadvantage, which I don't think is a good good thing for the game, right? Yeah. I think mean, the most obvious run, right, is that a team can ban Sven, pick Ashling. Um, and then, like, you have the only support for the game. And, you know, I mean, obviously, unless they have, like, a Vadasi player, but not that many play Vadasi, and even then, I think she's not as strong as Sven, so it feels kind of lopsided to play into. And I think there's a lot <laughs> of characters like that as well. I mean, obviously, right, if one team can get team at, or one team can get Margrave, or one team can get Roland, it starts to feel kind of unfun, because even yeah. if you're seeing matches where one team is playing that character, the other one isn't, that's a choice the team made. They had the agency to pick the character in Mirror, mm-hmm. and they chose not to for, some, like, their own reasons. Mm-hmm. Whereas in a no dittos format, um, it just sort of feels like you lost because you couldn't get the characters you wanted. Because and even comp, if, yeah, yeah. I think even if there's a skill in drafting, it just creates these feels-bad moments for teams where it's like, oh, if we had picked this, we would have won for sure. Or, you know, if, oh, that was stupid. And it just creates a lot of extra stress in a phase of the game that I think is not that fun and not shouldn't be that impactful overall, right? Yeah. Especially with mm-hmm. the am, rosters being so small right now. Yeah, like, I don't want to, f- you know, force that on people. Um, one thing I am considering, though, um, and I'm probably I'm going to talk with captains about this for playoffs for sure, is changing the pick format to be blind and then a six pick. And I think I've brought Ooh. this up to Trucin at some point. Um, where if you've ever watched, so the idea, I, I, I'm taking this from Rainbow Six Esports. Uh, which I've never watched, but I've heard about, and I was like, hmm, that could work. Uh, <laughs> yeah. The idea is basically both teams will you know, have 40 seconds to figure out their five characters. They will reveal their five to the enemy team, and then they can choose to swap out one of the characters after the reveal, <laughs> and then they go into game. Oh. Um, and hopefully that cuts down, because I think one feedback, one point of feedback that I've been receiving is that, yeah, drafting just takes a really long time for, like, and it, and it really doesn't impact the game as much as the time it takes up. So that should be cut down. And mm-hmm. I kind of agree looking at like watching matches and looking at that. That's like, it shouldn't be taking this long. Yeah. Yeah. The time, the time thing definitely is really hard. Like for the tournaments, do you generally have kind of like a, like a hard cap? Like, okay, the tournaments can only go this long and has that like worked out so far? Uh, I mean, so since it's, this is one of the benefits of the format is because you're really only playing two to three games at a time. Mm-hmm. 
it kind of naturally will end pretty quickly. Like you're not sitting there for six hours. Thank but I God. need to figure out. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say for playoffs. I think the like we have had tournaments get canceled due to time. I mean, we never ended up actually playing out grand finals of Wizards. It's Trump. not finished. Like, we got there. No. Yeah, it never finished. We just called the three people who qualified. We're like, okay, we're done. You know. Yeah. Um, and then I think Wizards Trial Two indefinitely postponed because of connection issues and time. Uh, just got totally canceled. And then Dave was like, "Yeah, we're not running any more tournaments until you fix the game." <laughs> so. Yeah. That's rough. It's you know, fair enough, though. It, it's a valid statement, though. Yeah. I, I, it, I can't disagree. It's a disagree. fair statement. I mean, it is not fun as a competitor to sit and struggle to play the game, right? Like, as a competitor, my competition should be the other team and not, not the game. Not the game! <laughs> I spent more time fighting the game than other players playing competitive gigantic. <sighs> so uh, true. Granted, this may or may not be a testament to how stacked our team was that one tournament and they kind of carried me through most of the tournament but um you guys single-handedly like destroyed everyone's morale <laughs> because you were just going you're steamrolling you, through people i illusion could have won sirens i i still fully maintain that uh they had d control and were up 20 at the end of the first push and then we just like got a quadra or something like something stupid oh my gosh oh was, i love that was so no funny deal. to watch <laughs> And then I think they just boomed and didn't come back. Um, oh my god. It happens. Look, it happens. The mental game is definitely a very real part of this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. absolutely. And, uh, it's, it's very true. So, like, okay. So, we all know customs kind of suck. So, like, yeah. now, Ranked was just released, which kind of, like, came out of nowhere. It was like, <laughs> oh, by the way, Ranked is open today. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, what is everybody's thoughts on the ranked mode um i don't have any because i was only able to play it like for seven games and then the queue has been dry ever since <laughs> um, when i played i either ran into a five stack mm -hmm. and got stomped or i didn't run in or not even like you know i ran it like just any stack over two honestly like right. is enough because that's already 60 percent of the team is coordinating and your team is not yeah um so I would either run into a stack and get stomped, or there wouldn't be a stack, and I would stomp. And that was how pretty much all the games went. And then I stopped playing for two days. I came back, sat in queue for two hours, got no games. I was like, okay, so this mode is dead. <laughs> two <laughs> hours? Jeez. Yeah. Uh, I have this, like, screenshot of just, like, in queue 86 minutes or something. So, oh, like, my gosh. Yeah. So, like, okay, so clearly they had to, like, release this mode, right? Like, it, it feels like they had to. Otherwise, they, not I, now. I now is not a right, I, I the think right so. time. Now is definitely not I the right like, time. I think because I feel I like if they didn't would've... have to. Why would they? Like, like it's the right. stupidest things. They released it with like, first of all, no one wanted five sacks. They've been told this many times. I know this. I yeah. think there's like contractual reasons why they had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that makes sense. That's also there's why contractual reasons. I definitely feel like there's also some, like people. There's. I think there's definitely some different people like giving input behind the scenes and oh, yeah. it just leads to stuff like the ball getting dropped and all of this stuff oh yeah like uh, we we have no fucking clue what's going on back there like yeah. <laughs> there's smoke and fire coming behind the curtain but we can't look well, it's also there's just so many like th there's so many hoops that they have to jump through considering how many different yeah. systems the game is being run on and and oh, yeah. companies they have to you know make these changes and make sure everyone knows that this is happening it's just like there's so much stuff and that's kind of the that's that's kind of the the knife's end of the you know like we have so many platforms yeah. you can play on woo amazing and it's just right. like, yeah, changes it's amazing until you deal with different versions and cross play yeah changes take so long to happen and there's time yeah. constraints and nothing can get fixed properly. Like there's there's so many things that could possibly just be happening. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The no cycle one ever of would like really know. getting things out to the public. It takes a long time, <laughs> like you said. It really does. And then like yeah. with the amount of testing you need to do, it's to me it's clear like there's probably not enough manpower to get all this stuff done and we're, we're the ones to suffer right well i'm just not sure where the manpower is going because i feel like some of the stuff is so blatantly obvious that it should just mm -hmm. not okay let me let me put it like this <laughs> i think it is i still think it is absurd that we have bugs that got reported day one that are still in the game and they're still like we're working on it. <laughs> yeah it's like how like is it really that deep in the game's code that you can't figure it out 
Yeah, like, is it is it, it like, hard, or is it, like, is it, just prioritized like, just tell wrong? me if, like, you guys are just, just like, if be honest. Like, if the code is messy and just be like, guys, their code kind of sucked, and it's taking us a while to get there, at least we would understand. Right. right? Like, we've been there. It's a, this is but the it's, thing. like, zero yeah. communication. Zero communication for two months, and then the lead QA tester drops a haiku on the Discord, like, we're fixing it. It's like, <laughs> come on. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, please, just get serious it's with like, me. Like, <laughs> it's like they were told... It's like they were told that they were put on a treasure hunt, and it's like in a hundred. It's like a ten-acre <laughs> field, and they have a oh, shovel no. and no other information. Like that's oh my God. that's how you have to find. Code yeah, in well, this game. we say this, but I'm not gonna lie. I did fix the Ash. Like when Ashling was summoning Kato through the map, you know how long it took me to fix that with UE Explorer and a hex editor. Oh, it took me three hours. It took me. Th- Granted, the fix kind of sucked. It wasn't a great fix, but it worked. <laughs> so I know it can be done. There we go. Hire that's why I'm saying like. Is possible for sure. Is, um, and I also think it's just bad optics to have that be like the way you're interacting with the community. It just feels really insensitive to sort of be like, you know, haha, we're so we're so goofy and quirky. Like your game is on fire, <laughs> and right. your QA department has released two patches in a row where you broke more stuff than you fixed. I know, and it yet is. you're still coming out like, ah, guys, we're working on it. Like, hey, you know what? At least he freaking said something. At I least he Mark. said something. And there I are there him. are things that like, I think. So many people, like you said, it's like there is a feeling to this, and it's cold. It feels much colder than it used to. It's just they don't communicate. It's kind of like us yelling. And I don't even care. If the game is broken, yeah, okay, say something to um, us. Apologize. That's, that's all we're asking for. <laughs> you don't even, I don't even apologize. Oh, just say one. something. Give like, me. that's all we need. Like, you can say, like, we... Yeah, you could be like, we hate the community, and yeah, the game sucks. Deal with it. I and mean, at least you're like, oh my god, at least you're being honest. Like, <laughs> oh my. Oh my god. I mean, I don't think I, I, I think you know, we definitely have some people who are like really hating on abstraction for no reason, right. which I think yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely gets annoying. I think there's a lot of stuff that people don't realize got fixed that is huge. Like yeah. nobody talks about it, but they fixed health bug. Nobody talks about <laughs> it, but they did fix it. I've is never it? seen it, and nobody's reported That's it yet. That's true. I think, like, a big problem that was such a... I have with their, like, notes of, like, fixes is they don't include, like, half of the things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just don't. That's a weird one to me. Yeah, I definitely don't agree with this whole, like, miscellaneous bug fix thing. Like, you couldn't hire it. Like, hire me. I'll write your bug... I'll write your release notes right. for you for Right. Tell us hours. all the things you fixed. Like, isn't that the point? You want us to be excited. Oh, my God. But, like, yeah, I wish you would talk about, like, talk about, like, yeah, we fixed health bug. The issue that was plaguing the game for four years that we Rotika couldn't fix and was in the game till it died and there was no way around it and you just sucked it up and dealt with it. Right. The connection wasn't great. We fixed that. Ah, oh, man. If only talk they about communicated that. more. If only it's pretty impressive, here. honestly. We can dream. <laughs> yeah, we can dream. Um, How did we so, get here? I don't know. I mean, there's, like, other stuff. Like, I think all the balance changes they make have been decent. The balance like, is good all in the right, right now. Direction. balance has been good. Like, the balance of the game is probably better than mm-hmm. it's ever been if you remove all the bugs. <laughs> <laughs> Big if, I know. But, like, imagine. Imagine a perfect world with me for a if second. Like, the balance of the game, I think, is actually in a really solid state. Like, yes, supports are too strong. Team yes, rolling. assassins could use some love. But, like, net, net, still better than it's ever been. In my opinion, I agree. It's good. Am I biased because a lot of these stuff is stuff I was asking for? Uh, maybe, <laughs> you know, possibly. That's um, good. They heard you. Hey. Yeah. All it took was a PhD thesis about why why the game was broken. Yay! <laughs> right. Okay. Okay. So write more of those, and then they'll fix more things. Yeah. The problem is I only got one ninety pager in me per year. <laughs> Damn it. We're gonna have to wait next year. All right. Yeah, next year I'll drop. Well, I, I was like actually like thinking about it. Like part of the problem too is like I can't do this anymore because I can't. Like I literally just can't get in game in solo queue to play the game and tell you how it feels because half the time I'm on a European server right. and the other half of the time I'm in queue for forty minutes. So yeah, <laughs> once, once I can play the game without having to wait an hour first, I will go back to giving you guys feedback. And that's honestly my overall feedback for the developers is like don't worry about balance don't worry about mm. ranked because all this other stuff has to come first or no one will play the game plain and simple i love it that's a <laughs> true a great statement honestly yeah. what do you think north has your uh, has your uh, ranked experience begun to diminish like uh, medic said yeah i love it it's great oh it's so good um i mean apart from the fact that 
I lost 120 MMR for winning a game. Uh, yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she didn't even hear the whole statement. That was amazing. Okay. Big yeah. If so yeah, I won a game and I lost 120 MMR, and then. Yeah, you shouldn't have dropped any runes to those bronze players, <laughs> bro. Didn't. You gotta make sure to three o lock in three o them every <laughs> time. Like, oh I want full God. comms, perfect rotation, <laughs> bro. If you let them take any power off of you, you're getting fired. <laughs> fired and demoted fired. to silver. Fired. <laughs> Legit, we, it was a 3-0. We didn't. Nothing happened, and then we lost. Yeah, but oh. you let them get power. You didn't want 100 to owe them yeah, every yeah, my move. Bad, yeah, my bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. It's because you don't upgrade creatures. You're an adult creature hater. I am never doing that. You gotta lock in. Adult Everybody knows creature you gotta lock hater. in for these ranked matches. Uh, so yeah. you get different MMR depending on how like how many. Oh, wounds if you, you stack, if you, I'm pretty sure I don't know if it goes off that, but I've noticed if you're in a stack, the bigger the stack is, the less you get from a win. <laughs> Like when yeah. I was soloing, oh, I would get when I was soloing, I get like eighty plus for a win. But if I was like in a duo plus, I would get twenty. Or sometimes I'd actually not get any for a win. Oh, wow. Honestly, like good. Also, I mean, probably take it with a grain of salt too, because by the time you're getting like by the time I think people were starting to stack, like people who are already in the ranks pretty high relative to the average, so. I mean, that's so fair. okay, what rank did you get to, North? Did did anybody is anyone here a gigantic guardian okay. other than me? I'm self proclaimed though. Okay, so. well he, he got up the diamond, didn't you? I was one game away from getting gigantic guardian, and that was the game when I lost 120 MMR. So oh, no. I was really I was on stream, <laughs> I was really annoyed. I was I was gonna punch a wall. But it was yeah, yeah it was it was not fun. But and then there's a bunch of people which I think they have said, I put, uh, I think they put up a dev update that said they are removing five sacks, thank God. Yes. But a bunch right. of people got really high ranks because because they're stacking with a bunch of like top 10 players. You're just boosting them all the way up the Gigantic Guardian. Oh, yeah. oh, it was so good. Yeah, I mean, I'm hard stuck gold, so you know Hell. the vibes. Uh, I'm, I'm wood tier. You know, obviously, right? a very average, average mid tier player of myself, <laughs> honestly, kind of a frog. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't even know why you guys listen to me. You know, I'm just a gold player. I don't know why y'all listen to me. You know, my takes about the game and about balance and stuff. Like, yeah, get I out of here, gold. I mean, about. you can go on YouTube uh, you and know. watch our guides. Help you get better. It, it's yeah, yeah. My bad for losing <laughs> to like a three stack of people in diamond when I'm on 250 ping and playing with like bronze players. Oh my god! <laughs> I still find it really funny that like there will be like I'll be playing the game solo queue. Like I said, I was gonna solo queue only, and I have stuck to that. Um, unfortunately, the mode is dead. Already, so, uh, <laughs> oh, never no. really got out of gold, but I did play solo queue only for rank just to see how it was for like you know most people who don't know people who are like trying to stack, and it is crazy. Like I don't understand how we have matchmaking that will put a two and a three stack against five. Solo oh yes, players, yes, yes, yes. All of whom yep. are lower ranked. Mm -hmm. All of whom are lower ranked than the people in the two and three stack. Like I like I hold tab. I'm like, who's on my team? Bronze, bronze, silver, bronze, <laughs> gold. Who's on their team? Diamond, diamond, guardian, diamond, guardian. Wait, there was there was a time I think oh there was three people. One of them was gigantic guardian, and the other two were diamond. And I was doing, and it was we were in a duo of two diamonds, and we were trying to go against each other, and it kept putting us on the same team, and we kept just rolling through people. I don't understand what part of the matchmaking thinks that that's okay. Like what? Yeah, uh, it's probably uh, a lot there. Well, it's probably like they... time waiting. And quality of match, but clearly the quality of match isn't there, which I, I just wonder if it's just grabbing anybody who's available. Yeah, that's, that's, I mean, that's yeah, what it has to be. be. There's not 10 people playing ranked right now. Like, let's keep it all. Let's do <laughs> oh, this. Well, like, I ain't even going to check Steam charts. I, this should be peak. It's like, whatever, Friday night, Eastern Coast. This should be peak hours. I guarantee you, not 10 people in that, in that queue. I mean, oh, it's, that's just the way it's it is. just, it's also just so sad because that was part of like the flagship mm -hmm. announcement of ranked coming out. It's like, we have this system where we're going to try and look between both sides of the teams and match like all solo queues or like if it's two, five stacks, they'll face together. Or if it's like three stack and then three stack, they'll be against each other. And like, Bro. that's not oh what's happening. Oh my God. Before yeah. that. I wish it worked like that. Cause then I could just queue snipe for my customs games even <laughs> and then it all would be okay. And then all would, like, it, like if that's how it worked, like if it matched stacks with each other, perfect. I'm using that as my customs queue from now on. Like, yes, nice. it's okay that I don't get the map I want. 
I'm on regular ping. Yeah. Yay. Thank, thank the Lord. I'm Before yeah, we got it's, it's, the duo and the trio, we actually tried to do a three and a three, and it wouldn't work. But once the third person left, we got into the five together, which I really don't understand either. Yeah. Interesting. And it's mm. it's obviously not going to work now because so few people are playing at the moment, which is unfortunate. But, yeah. like, even... No, the crazy thing... No, go ahead. I, I was just going to say, even when, you know... Even when it was a new thing, like it's it's only been a week, like a week and a half. Wow, it feels like a month. And, I swear. And <laughs> even when it was new, it still wasn't working that way. Like a bunch of people were getting Q pops and like facing five stacks against all groups of of solo queues. It's just like that doesn't make any sense. It's content. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we've definitely been very. I I feel like we've definitely given. You know, devs, again, if you're listening, please take notes. <laughs> we, we promise we don't hate you as much as it sounds. We're just kind of frustrated and just want to play our game. Look, we're not mad. We're just disappointed. Might be worse. We're not even. I mean, uh, I don't think anyone's disappointed. Like, this is all what we expected. But, like, <laughs> it would still be nice if you fixed it. I don't know. <laughs> if I if I disappear, it's because of uh, Storm. Because <laughs> oh. I, I, I don't know if you guys heard that thunder rolling, but I definitely... It's terrible outside and i also saw the light starting to brown so i was like oop uh oh <laughs> okay. all right well, well i think we're 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 starting to wrap up here i mean is there anything else you guys feel like we need to cover right now about the gdl or any upcoming things you want to talk about i mean i don't really have anything i i just all i hope is that like if customs can get fixed before playoffs like that would be awesome when's playoffs that's all Whenever customs are fixed. <laughs> oh, so okay, I mean, they're supposed to happen, like, Open in your... Ended. So, 100% like, success rate. 100% success rate. Uh, I mean, no, I still have to talk. Like, ske- again, this is another thing where, like, scheduling comes into play. And we are running behind schedule, which is one thing I'm kind of regretting. Um, like, I wish we were a little bit more on schedule, but it is what it is. Um, but hopefully, like, you know, if if the patch in early July ends up fixing it, like, that would be great. Not saying that's gonna happen because it's probably not. Let's be mm-hmm. honest. But if it gets fixed, great. when, like, how often do you see doing these tournaments? I think I don't know if I would run the GDL again. At least not for a while. Like, probably not for a while, just because of well, number one, I you know I have personal stuff like I need to go deal with. Like, I I'm kind of free right now, but in the future, not so much. But, you know, at least, like, as a summer thing, like, I could see myself doing it again. And I think Dave said that Dave obviously wants to run. I mean, Dave wants to run his Invitational at some point, Ooh. And I hope he runs it because I want to get that money. Uh, <laughs> Ooh, so a my, money Invitational. I'm not letting money that happen, bro. All, all, my, my sweet, sweet cut of, like, $25 <laughs> for Baskin <laughs> Robbins gift card. Oh, hell yeah. That's, so that, that's would put me, that would put me up in the ranks with What's the top Baskin Robbins? Pros. <laughs> it's Aww, an American like ice cream shop. <laughs> Can I? It's ice cream. Um, oh, ice cream. Oh. Yeah. They saw ice cream. Um, <laughs> Sorry. I mean, yeah. Like, I don't know. I guess, does anyone have any questions? I guess you have questions for me, I feel like is actually, because I feel like I'd do better in that kind of. I don't, I mean, I don't think there's really anything else that can be said, because you've, you've said so much about, like, just how things are working and how you feel about certain things. Like, genuinely, you there, was, team? there was so much information. Do I have a favorite I'm just saying, team? I'm in like, the VC. Personally? So you, so. <laughs> yeah, uh, I hate to break it to you, but uh, logistically, ask us about our two fathers is not making the cut, our buddy. Team is, bro, <laughs> our team is I had great. to pull teeth. That's a good I idea. had to pull teeth to get your game to happen. Okay. I stayed up till two in the morning scheduling. Okay. okay? I don't Listen, want to hear it. That is okay. That's out of our control. This is maximum shade. That's out of our control. This is maximum shade. It totally is in your control. Uh, okay. Let's <laughs> fight, keep it fight, a stack. Fight. Have a tournament match to decide. My internet's yeah, really bad right now. I don't think I Yo, can. Yo, one v one me reef woo only. I'll smoke you. One v one woo. I'm I'm mad nice. I'm. Uh, of course, after the customs works, yeah. it'll take a few tries. But. <laughs> uh, I think if I actually, um, I don't know. I really, I think Fanor's team, in terms of being like bringing good vibes, has been good. Uh, I want to see them succeed, mostly because I, I'm friends with Fanor, obviously, but also like, you know, 
I think they kind of got done dirty because they weren't playing with Feyenoord for their first match, so I think it's cool that they're making this run back to the playoffs from that week one loss, which I think is uh, it's a good storyline. The people on the team are all pretty nice. Lore so the team. Shout outs to Golden Ring. Shout out, I mean, honestly, like I appreciate everyone who's given their time to just play in what is basically my pet project of like, what if we did this? It, it means the world to me, honestly. So yeah, I love that. How about you, North? A little bit of a political answer. Oh, it's a good one. It's good. It's very good. North, do you have any uh, closing remarks before I uh, kind of send us off a little bit? All right, <sighs> developers, Uh-oh. listen up. <laughs> Yo, lock in. <laughs> Listen up. I love this game. I am literally not. I do not have a job. This is what I do in my free time. Listen, I want to spend my free time not playing Gigantic Menu Simulator, okay? I want to play <laughs> the actual game. So please just listen to what the community is saying and just lock in and fix it, please. That's about it. I think it's crazy. Some of the people who are like leaving the scene, and I look, and I was like, Yo, how did you fumble the bag this badly? <laughs> like, you had a literal... Like, these people were addicted bad. Like, like crawling in the basement to get this game levels of bad. Ooh. And, like, they're like, nah, I think I'm done, actually. I'm moving to greener pastures. <laughs> See y'all dumb. later on the other side. And I'm like, how, does, how did you fumble the bag this badly? You literally were handed, like, 400... Like, people who have waited five years for this to happen, and then you somehow, like, fumbled, like, 75% of them. Mm. Yeah. Oh man. I, I'm just, well, I I'm just worried that, like, it's like a ticking time bomb, you know, because every day more people are going to leave unless something happens. Hey, hey, so I'm kind of hey, worried. I mean, we're here yeah, for it's... We're here to talk about how cool you, your league is, and it is people cool, should totally but... play the game and not leave. Okay? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, all I'm saying is... All I'm saying is, like, if you want to, want my Steam review to go positive, y'all gotta fix some things. Oh, That's all shit. I gotta say. Like, <laughs> I think uh, it's so frustrating. I want to, I want to like this game so bad. I want to be so happy that it's back, but it's like so difficult with all the thi- like, especially with everything that like I've seen personally too, of what it like. <sighs> I know, I know. I hope this is therapeutic to I, get it out. It, I think it is Dude, this, good. I've, I feel like I just ranted for like. Minutes. I'm sorry for taking over your podcast yeah, and talking about how, how this game how this game makes me feel. I think not. I think my closing remark is basically just agreeing that it's it's good to be ambitious and try to be positive about this game, especially as a longtime fan, and that that includes all of us and everyone that'll probably listen to this. But you also have to like take in that side of realism and understand that there is absolutely a time limit right now Mm -hmm. as to how long that this game can survive again with its second slash third life depending on who you ask Mm -hmm. or fourth Um, or fifth (laughs) yeah look i'm in like nine gig servers i ain't gonna judge i'm in (laughs) so i just nine might be underselling i'm in too many i gotta get out i gotta gotta get out like he needs help the the devs need to understand it it's been said plenty and plenty of times by this point like the engine is on fire and it is it is making it through the checkpoints but eventually like you're gonna run out of fuel and like we need we need something else we I've need good way to say it. i need i need a word from one of them you know i, I want I like i want one of them to actually speak to say, say like what's going yeah. on yeah. like like a video or something i need to hear what what is going on <laughs> yo can we get mark from abstraction on the podcast <laughs> like yeah. talk a vlog. Yeah, you know it might be happening. I mean, get this, this guy. Let's get this guy in. We'll I mean, see, we'll see what let, we let, do let, yeah. in the future. Let, my man, let him speak. But uh, I will say one thing that I yeah. realized too is that, like you were saying, gig has always been about the community, and so that I'm realizing is like, I low key only stuck stuck around gig because I liked my friends who all played gig, and now that all my friends who yeah. used to play gig are just doing other stuff, I'm just going to go do other stuff. And I think a lot of people feel the same way too. So it's a vibe. I don't know. I don't even know what Abstraction could do about it at this point. I will say, if you want my ideas, I, all y'all got to do, delay ranked, drop a new map, drop a new hero, people will be coming back. That's all I'm Hot take. Hot take. Love it. It's not even a hot take. Love it. Drop like, a new hero. <laughs> drop, bro, Bolga's almost done. Like, bro, we'll give the us day, the Bolga. The day I we'll see, see Bolga, I will, nah, that's crazy. Do you understand, like, how many people would, I even if crazy. it's just for five games, just to, like, absolutely just be able to play around with something? Like, that's the thing, I think, for me, that I realized is just, like, even if 
it all gets fixed, right, in the future, would I even come back? Like, come back? And the answer is really just, well, I guess if my friends were playing, I would hop on. But I don't know if I would come back by myself. And I think a lot of people kind of feel the same way. So if I were to, you know, my, my whatever, 50th thing of advice for the devs, but, like, this one's the real one this time. <laughs> the real one. Okay, okay, actually, no, I got one more. First of all, hire me. I <laughs> it. Second of all, okay, actual final word. Um, I promise for real. Um, I mean, I think if you guys get the game in a stable state and then just drop something exciting, like a new hero or a new map, like, people will come back. Like, the game is fun still. Love it. Despite it all. Um, please just make it work. <laughs> That's all we're asking. All make right. it work and then drop something exciting. Make it work. All right. We're going to be wrapping up. Thank you guys so much for joining. I'd love to hear uh, you guys drop your socials here. So let's start. Uh, if you have anything you want to promote, your Twitch, your YouTube, whatever. Uh, Medic, we'll start with you. You have anything? I, I have zero socials. I'm sorry. Like, y'all want to reach me? <laughs> Too Get bad. Like I don't put out. You know all. I uh, all I all I do like is I go on ninety minute rants about video games to people in in calls, and then I'll I'll write sixty pages of feedback and I'll send it to devs. That's like all I do. Love it. All right. Well, if you want to reach Medic, just uh, find find them in the Discord. Yeah. Otherwise, you're you're out of luck. I'm not even in the Discord. <laughs> find my right. alt in the you're Discord. Out of it's the one named Medic. <laughs> find the alt. In, that's find my alt. Find the wild somewhere. Um. Yeah, go. Yeah, it's like a. It's you know. It's like, whatever. You. It's like I try. You gotta. You gotta work for it. You know. Gotta work. For it. You gotta work for it. North, let's hear your socials. Anything you want to promote? Uh, yeah. Uh, I stream on Twitch at twitch.tv slash am the North Star, and I put videos up at on YouTube at uh, the North Star two three five. So if you want to watch me, you should, cause, yeah, I'm awesome. So you should definitely go watch me there. He is Fun awesome, guy. can you confirm? <laughs> Wolfie, how about you? Oh, I'm included? Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can see me on YouTube at WolfieCast. Um, I also am on several Discords, so you, you'll probably find me. I, I believe I have the same name on every Discord server now. Um, yeah. And uh, I haven't streamed in a while, but I've been thinking about it. Uh, <gasps> not on Twitch, it. just on YouTube again. Maybe on Twitch. We'll see. I need to update a lot of, like, assets and stuff. All right. Well, I believe in you. And obviously, I'm Falco Punch. You can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and YouTube at Falco Punch. So I'll go ahead and drop all those links in the description. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time out of your days to talk about this. I know there's a lot of passion here. Yes, thank we you. We all have so many thoughts. And I really appreciate you sharing them here with me today. Thank you so much. Thank you for hearing me out. I'm sorry, I low key <laughs> just ranted on mic for 30 minutes, but sometimes that's just how it has no, to be. No, it was so good. <laughs> Hell yeah, that was amazing. I hope it's at least entertaining for the folks at home. Um, yeah, <laughs> I guess that's it. I guess for me, the just... man's got thoughts. <laughs> All right, thanks everybody, and we'll catch you next time. This is Failure Incorporated signing off. Hope you enjoyed that episode. If you did, follow Failure Incorporated on Spotify for more gaming content. See you next time.